Even though there is a surge happening right now, the return of a Chicago institution is also returning. The Bunt Billiken back to school parade is happening on the south side today. Judy Wang is live near the start on 45th and Ging Drive with a preview. Judy. Hi guys, uh, we are good to go and right now we're just waiting for the masses of people to start showing up. The Bud Billiken Parade is back, but with a few changes because of the pandemic. When the parade was canceled in 2020, that was the first time that happened since the parade began in 1929. Back to school, back to life, back to the Bud Billiken. That is the theme of the 92nd year of this tradition. Generations of families have made this a ritual. It is the largest African American parade in the nation, usually drawing about a half million people. The parade starts, uh, starts off later this morning at 45th and Martin Luther King Drive. It will end in Washington Park with a festival. What changes will there be? Well, for one thing, there is a shorter route, 10 blocks this time, and the number of groups marching is cut in half to 125 organizations. The parade chair says that she feels that the parade should serve uh, as a way to educate people about uh, COVID-19 and the importance of getting vaccinated. Uh, the uh, free COVID testing will take place at 47th and King Drive, and you can get free COVID shots in Washington Park. Masks are encouraged along the route. Parade marchers uh, have to be vaccinated or show proof that they have a negative COVID test within the past 72 hours. There are also uh, rules that apply in the festival uh, itself, the Washington Park Festival. Now, Chicago Sky player Candace Parker is the parade grand marshal. Once again, the parade, uh, the park party gets started about three hours from now in Bronzeville. Judy Wang, WGN News. All right.